Hi devs, in this video we're talking about one of the data structures that you will need to know to do well in your technical interviews. And that is the list. So a list is simply a linear collection of items. So you can think of it, we often draw it on the board like this, where we, you know, each one of these uh, blocks is, contains an, an item. So for example, I could put numbers in there, 8, 12, 1, 100, and so on, and you just fill them all out. <clears throat> so that's a list, just a straight list. So in a technical interview, you will need to know if the list is a good uh, data structure for the problem you're trying to solve. But in order to do that, you need to understand the complexity uh, of some of the oper of all of the operations of in a list. So the operations that you need to think about are: how do I add something to the list? How do I remove something to the list? How do I find something in the list? Okay, so those are the main ones. So let's talk about those. Add, remove, and find. All right, so um, these are the ones that we're gonna try and analyze. So the uh, important consideration for a list is all of the elements in the list have to be contiguous. They're all one after the other, at least in an array. There are two different types of lists uh, that are common. There's an array and there's a linked list. So let me talk about the uh, array first. So in an array, all of the elements are laid out in memory, one after the other, after the other, after the other. And you usually have an index to be able to figure out where they are. So this is, the, you know, and we always start at zero in computer software. So this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So if I want to add something to this list, well, it depends on where I'm going to add it. If I'm going to add it to the end, it's pretty straightforward. I just um, stick it down. I just uh, extend the size of the list, uh, extend the memory, and put it there. And so add is very simple, and so it's constant time. Now, that's most of the time true. But if you think about it, what if you add so many elements that eventually you run out of memory? So I go and I try to allocate room for this, and I go, oops, there's no more memory there. It's no longer contiguous memory that can hold it. So what I'm going to have to do then is find someplace else in memory where I can hold a contiguous amount of memory that is big enough to hold that, copy everything from here into that new spot, and then add the element to it. So if I run out of memory, it can be a linear operation because in order to do that copy, I have to do something with every single one of the elements once. Okay, that's adding. Removing, so for re to remove, first of all, I need to figure out where it is I'm going to remove. I either have an index or I have to find it. Then let's think about how to remove it. Well, I need to get rid of this guy, but since all the memory has to be contiguous, then I have no choice but to take everything after that and shift it down. So I'm going to do this shift here, and all these elements are going to move down. So in the complexity of, of this operation then, since I have to shift everything, I have to visit every single one of these elements once, and so it's a linear operation. So it's order n. Okay. Now let's talk about finding. If I have an index, if I already know what index the element is, it's just simple mathematics. And so I just say, well, okay, I can quickly and easily jump to the one, two, three, four, five, you know, the element at index four, for example, zero, one, two, three, four. So this is then a constant operation. If I don't know where it is uh, and I don't have an index and I have to find it, then I'm gonna have to scan through every single one of those. And so I'm gonna have to visit every single one of the elements in that list in that array once. That makes it a linear operation. Okay, so there you go. In an array, most of the operations are linear. Uh, you can add to the end unless you run out of memory and then it becomes linear. Okay, let's talk for a second about a linked list. I'm not going to get it too much into linked lists because linked lists, I almost never use them and they are rather uncommon. They do exist. But the difference is in an, a linked list, you allocate all of your elements anywhere you want in memory, and then you have a pointer from one to the next. So this is a linked list. 
And here I could have then 8, 12, 1, 100, and I'd have the same thing. So let's think about these, uh, the, the advantages. The, the thing that makes a linked list advantageous over an array is that the memory doesn't have to be contiguous. So if I want to add another element, I don't need to do this, uh, allocate, find more memory, allocate it, and uh, shift all the elements down into that new spot. Instead, um, I just find a block of memory, usually pretty small, and uh, point that number to it. 1001, okay? So that's, that's what makes the uh, linked list advantageous. It does have some pretty big disadvantages though. Let's talk about adding. So how would I add to a linked list? Here's an array. And here's for a linked list. If I want to add an element to a, a linked list, well, I just showed you that. I have to allocate the memory, then I have to find the place it goes, and adjust the pointers. So in this case, if I wanted to put something here after the 12, uh, for some reason, say a 13, then I would, I would have to start at the beginning, scan until I get to the spot that it's supposed to be at, um, and then take this pointer and make it point here instead, and then have this pointer point there. So that part's pretty simple arithmetic. The problem with add, so it's constant if you already know exactly where it's going to go and you have a pointer to where it's supposed to go. But if you have to uh, find the location where it's going to be, then you have to do a find operation, which is going to be linear. Okay. Remove, the very same thing. Removing is pretty simple. You just fix up the pointers to remove the element and put them back uh, like it was. And it's the same thing. If I know, if I have a pointer right here, I'm sitting right here, and I know I want to remove this one or remove the next one, it's usually pretty straightforward. And so I can do that in constant time. But if I have to, if I don't know and I have to find it, then I'm going to have to scan it and it's going to be a, a linear operation. And then finding an arbitrary element in the list is obviously going to be order of n. Even if I know it's index, I can't just um, do a simple mathematical operation to find where it is. I'm going to have to scan all the time. For that reason, uh, if you have to sort uh, a linked list, it's very, very, very expensive. Uh, so I don't usually encounter linked lists in interview questions very often. Occasionally they'll be there, but I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'd learn more about what the array is. Okay, so make sure I got everything that I wanted to discuss. Ah, yes. All right, let's talk about the, the data in the list. Suppose I put data in the list, and I'm just sticking in it at the very end. Um, the data stays in the list, and the, in the list in the order that I inserted it. There's no natural ordering. If I need them sorted, then I'm going to have to go through and I'm going to have to do some type of uh, swapping of all of the elements in order to, to sort the array. There are lots of algorithms for sorting an array. Um, they can be very expensive, fairly cheap. Uh, typically, uh, these uh, uh, sort operations are built into the language library and they're easy to get to and so you don't have to worry too much about them. Uh, you can learn them if you'd like, but I don't usually see questions that ask you the particulars of how it's happened. What I do see is um, I need to know how expensive it is to sort an array. So the typical array, uh, array sort algorithm that we use uh, like a quick sort algorithm is what it's called. Uh, most of them run in order of n log n complexity. This is where we see the n log n complexity come out a lot. That's to sort. So if you just remember uh, that, oh, I have an array of items and I have to sort them. Ah, that's an n log n operation. And then uh, that will usually get you through there, uh, through your interview question. I believe that was it. Uh, once they're sorted, then you can do um, uh, a binary search like I did, and you can find elements in them a lot quicker if you know that they're sorted. Um, I went through that in the complexity video, and you can see how that happens. Um, so there you go. That's list. That's the, really the basic things that you need to know about a list. You should learn how to, uh, you should learn this stuff and get it down cold. 
Uh, you're going to need to know that right easy without thought. And I would uh, try implementing them, uh, though most of the languages uh, deal with arrays with almost no effort. So just think about that. All right. The next video will do a binary search tree.